guys, it's me Rosalie, and today I'm going to be showing you a ton of ways to get your dream pet in Adopt Me. This works for any pet, guys, whether your dream pet is, I don't know, a Neon Fex Fox, or if it's a Mega Neon Fly Ride Shadow Dragon. These tips work with any pet. But guys, before we get started, have you subscribed yet? Wait, you haven't subscribed? Guys, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button right now. So guys, go and leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into this. Let's stop right or drop down to the main center. Oh no! Ah! Whoa! Starburst just bounced so high. And then she jumped so high. That was so strange. To start off with, guys, the first tip is to enter my Robux giveaway. Because if you want to buy your pet with Robux, let's say if it's like a Robux pet that you can get, like the Cerberus or the RoboDog or something, just enter my Robux giveaway. All you need to do to enter is leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your Roblox username. And then you're done. You're in the draw to win the Robux giveaway. And then you can go and you can get your dream pet. And from all the winners that I'm going to be picking, I'm going to be checking if they've followed me over on my Instagram. And if a winner is following me, over on my Instagram, I'm gonna give them double the amount of Robux they would usually get. So guys, make sure to go follow me over on my Instagram, and guys, let's get into this. That first tip, that was a very, very small one, but today, I have massive tips, like tips the size of the world, that I'm going to be showing you today. So make sure to stick to the end, because all these tips are going to help you in getting your dream pet. And the first tip is to buy eggs or pets on the first day that they're released, because I know fossil eggs were worth so much more than what they're worth now. Like, fossil eggs back then were probably worth, like, a unicorn, but now they're worth more so, like, a couple of beavers and a Shiba Inu. So if there's new stuff coming into the game, always try and get it on the first day that it's released. So the day that the Christmas egg is going to be coming into the game, try and grind as much as you can and try and get one so that you can go trade it because it's worth so much more on the first day because people want to be the first people with the brand new legendary pair or the brand new neon legendary pair or just one of the first people with the egg. So make sure to go and buy a ton of them when they first come out. Because on the first day, they're worth so much more than a week into the update when everybody's got one. And when you're trading them, trade them for something good. People will really overpay if it's an update and it's the first day that it came into the game. Like, monkeys right now, like if I search up monkey, everybody has a few of these monkeys and they are not worth that much. But on the first day that they came into the game, this monkey... This monkey right here could probably be traded for, I don't know, a couple of ultra rare pets, like good ultra rares. So make sure to go and buy the stuff out of a new update on the very first day, because then you can go and trade it for good stuff, and maybe you could trade it for your dream pet. But if you don't trade it for your dream pet, just trade it up. So like, trade, for example, the Christmas egg, for a legendary pet and then trade that legendary pet for more stuff and then you can trade it up and up and up until you get your dream pet. And today, let's say your dream pet is a shadow dragon or a frost dragon because it's Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, I've actually got a Christmas tip. What you want to do because it's Christmas and it's the season of giving is you just want to put your dream pet in your name. So you want to go into dress up switch your name to whatever your dream pet is. So DP, which is dream pet and then frost and then people know, ooh, their dream pet's a frost dragon. Well, I have a few frost dragons, so why don't I go and give one to them as a Christmas gift? And people actually do this. I know that I give away a ton of Christmas gifts in Adopt Me in Christmas, and I give away a ton of gifts all year round. If I see, let's say somebody has dream pet unicorn or dream pet penguin or dream pet of something I have extra of, then I will give it to them. And in my other videos, you guys can watch through all of my videos. In every video that I do on a public server, I give away free stuff. So guys, just make sure to have your dream pet in your name because you never know when you bump into someone really nice, nice enough to give you your dream pet. And also guys, while you're changing your name, put Pretzelami in your name because if I see a Pretzelami member in game, I always give them something for free. Well, if there's a ton of Pretzelami members, I might accidentally miss you, but guys, I always try my hardest to give away free pets to the Pretzelami. The next tip that I have for you guys is to go over to your house and make a grinding room. And if you guys don't know what a grinding room is, let me show you. This is what a grinding room looks like. And guys, mine is on a very massive scale. So let me make one. I do grinding with like all of my family accounts so I make a massive grinding room 
but pretty much all you need is a crib for you and your pets. So you want to grab two cribs, you want two baths, and booths. <laughs> you want two booths. You want two baths, and then just get the cheapest ones because it really doesn't matter. It's not like in Bloxburg where the better the bath you have, the better, the more money you get, and the better moods you have. It's just like a bed is a bed. It doesn't really matter. It's really just the looks in Adopt Me. So guys, you just want two baths, two beds, some food and water. So pizza and a water cooler is the best for this. You also want to get food and water bowls for your pet. So just search up food and you can get these ones here. So you can get pet food bowls and pet water bowls. So there we go, we've got those two. And then you also want to go and you want to get pianos. Because you want to have everything in your house to grind with. You don't want to be going out for every task, like to the school and then coming back home and then to the hospital, coming back home. You just want to go and have all the stuff in your house. And if you guys didn't know, pianos actually cure your boredom tasks. So instead of going to the playground, you can just have a piano in your house and you can grind using the piano. Then next up, you just want to go into dress up, switch to baby, and pull out any pet that you want to. Let's go. Let's randomly pull out Skippy. I haven't pulled out Skippy in a while. A kangaroo. And then guys, you just want to go and do all of the tasks. And guys, cashing out is awesome because it gives you free money. And you're probably thinking, Presley, we're not doing a money hacks video. It's just a dream pet video. Well guys, what you can do with the money that you make from grinding is you can head to the pet shop and you can get some eggs. So let's teleport to the nursery and then you just want to buy a ton of eggs. But guys, cracked eggs aren't very valuable and they probably won't get you a legendary pet. And guys, remember, our dream pet is a frost dragon and you can't really get frost dragons from eggs. So what you want to do is you want to get eggs from the gumball machine and then you can go and trade the eggs from the gumball machine for other stuff. And make sure if the gumball machine says one day left of the fossil eggs to go and buy a ton of them. Because the fossil eggs are going to be really rare once they're out of the game. And the pets that are in the gumball machine don't stay forever. They only stay for a couple of months. So make sure to stock up on these eggs. But the fossil eggs aren't leaving for a while. So we just want to go, since we just did some grinding for some money, we want to buy a fossil egg and then we want to go and trade it. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to hatch it at all. Because the pet that you get from an egg is almost always less valuable than the egg itself. And you're probably thinking, Presley, what if I get a legendary though? And the chances are you won't get a legendary. So you want to trade the egg instead of the pet that's inside the egg. And let me show you an example of this. So I'm gonna pull out an Aussie egg and we're going to see what we get offered for the Aussie egg. So let's put our trades on. Oh, my trades are already on. So people will trade me so they can trade for the Aussie egg. Cool, we've got a trade request. Let's put in our Aussie egg. And then they put in a B, awesome. So right now this person thinks an Aussie egg is worth a B. But guys, what if we take the Aussie egg out and pull out a dingo instead? What if we put in a dingo? Because guys, we know pretty much all the time we get dingoes from Aussie eggs. So guys, will they still accept the trade for a dingo? I bet you $100, guys, they will decline the trade. Even though they're most likely to get a dingo from the Aussie egg, they think that they've actually got a good chance of getting something better than a dingo from the egg. And guys, you don't really have a good chance of getting anything good from an Aussie egg. So guys, that's just to show the eggs are always worth more than the pets that you get inside of them, unless they're ultra rares or legendaries, which you barely ever get. So you always want to trade eggs to try and get your dream pet. You don't want to try and trade uncommon and common pets. Unless it's a blue dog, then definitely trade your blue dog for the good pet. The blue dogs are like the rarest pets in the game. And the next tip is to buy things that are going to be leaving the game. So you want to buy limited edition things. For example, let's do the 2020 Halloween event. I stocked up on the Skelly Rex. I spent a lot of my mum's money on the Skelly Rexes because I knew that I would be able to get my dream pet once they're out of the game and they'll be worth a lot more. See what I mean guys? People are willing to put in really good pets for the pets that are limited edition. But you want to buy the most expensive one because that will be the one that's worth the most. As you guys know, the bat boxes were worth 1,000 candy, but the Skelly Rexes were worth 10,000 candy. And it will be better off trading one Skelly Rex than 10 bat boxes. I know there's 
I know they're worth the same, but because the Skelly Rex was really expensive and the Bat Boxes weren't that expensive, people are willing to pay more for the Skelly Rex. This tip is for the people out there who have Robux, and I know not many of you have Robux, so I'm gonna just fly through this tip. What you want to do is you want to spend the Robux on expensive stuff. For example, buy the supercars because they're really rip. Why is that going so fast? I've n oh, it was flying off. First, I just saw it spinning really fast and I'm like, whoa. But <laughs> back to what I was saying, just buy really expensive stuff with the Robux that you've got. For example, go and buy the Fly and Ray potions. People love the Fly and Ray potions and you'll probably be able to trade a ton of them for your dream pet. So guys, back to the first point, make sure you enter my Robux giveaway because it's so easy to enter. It's probably the easiest way to get your dream pet. So leave in the like, subscribing, commenting down below your Roblox username, and don't forget to have the best day ever. I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Oh, right. Peace. I kind of forgot to do peace because I was watching myself fall and I was hoping for a crash land. Bye!